Robert Carroll is a caver who did a lot of exploring in the northern uh, portions of New England. So um, he may have gone beyond that, but I saw a lot of in his journal or his uh, you know, notes that he did a lot in Maine, New Hampshire, or New York on his own, searching out caves, talus caves, solution caves, whatever he could find in some of the most remote areas. And he documented everything he did. And when he passed away, that was given over to someone else who's been distributing it to cavers or explorers who want to follow up on his work. So it's a great resource. So he's kind of a, a legend, you know, loner, but a legend in the exploration and caving community. We're going to head that way towards the west end of Grizzles Mountain. We're going to follow around, try not to lose elevation, and keep at the same height that Devil's Wash Dish is at, so to minimize having to go down to the valley and back up. But hopefully most of it will be just like the course we see here, but we'll find out when we get there. <laughs> That's part of the fun. So down below is a, where the stream runs. That comes from the Devil's Wash Dish. So we're going to follow it parallel along the hillside. We're not far, so not much longer to go. A lot of good grip, so you just hang on and lower yourself. So we're going to go down to this valley here where there's a stream, and this area right through here is a big bed of calcitic marble, and that's what the cave is made of that we're going to look for. And it's all over, riddled all over the um, Adirondacks. There's little pockets of this calcitic marble with various caves in it. So hopefully at the Devil's Wash Dish, we'll find that marble cave. Well, it's pretty rough, just a past few tenths of a mile. A lot of breakdown from the hillside, probably because the marble beds have dissolved and then the cliffs should just collapse in here. Uh, but we're past that and now it looks like it's gonna be much easier. We're not far, we're probably just a couple of tenths of a mile away from where the cave should be. Hey! It's in here. Found a cave that no one's been to probably in 50 years. So there was probably a layer of marble in here that was just carved away. We found a sink that was probably the one that was mentioned on Robert Carroll's uh, map of the area. And it opens up. It's right against uh, bedrock on either side. You can see some definite weathering from uh, water action. So there may be other sinks like that around here just feeding into these small caves that are within the rock bed here. Well, I'm going to head back to our backpacks, get ourselves together and head to the mine or cave that's marked on the map by um, Russell Gurney and see if we can find out exactly what's there. But Russell Gurney's been up here. He's looking for caves up here. He did several, you know, expeditions. Uh, we're packing up our camp now, and we're going to head up to the top of the hill here. And a tall hill. But we're going to follow up on a lead that was given by Chuck Porter. About two or three years ago, he gave me this topo that had a marking he had said was put there by Russell Gurney. And it has a symbol for a mine with a, what looks like a C or a U near it. So it could mean cave, it could mean any, a lot of other things. We're not sure. But, uh, you know, great leads coming from Chuck, also from Russell. So we're definitely excited to find out what could be out there. Okay, the mountain out there, you see, is Farrow Mountain. Down below it is Farrow Lake. And yesterday, we were over in that direction. You could see another little peak there. So we came from the valley way over there and then scaled up here. We're still not at the top. We're still going to go up even further.
probably quartz. Yeah, that's a quartz. Looks like talus and there's an opening. It looks like a cave. After uh, finding this pseudo cave, uh, a little disappointed. Well, this was a rough hike. It was very rugged terrain. We went to the um, Devil's Wash Dish and found the cave there, which was incredible, exactly as described. But we made it south to the Gurney Lead, the Russell Gurney Lead. Got there, found an um, insignificant notch that might look like a cave from a distance. So it was a very successful but exhausting trip.